Okay, so the difference between sumo and conventional obviously is feet and hand placement. For a conventional, your arms are going to be outside of your feet. For a sumo, um, your hands, and it is very dependent on the individual, but it will be in between your legs. Um, leg width is, like I said, independent, like whether, you know, what feels most comfortable to you. As a powerlifter in competition, you want to do whatever it is to be competitive. So obviously people say go. sumo is a cheater pull, it's not a real <laughs> deadlift. Um, yeah, it incre or decreases the range of motion from the floor to, you know, lockout yeah. position, but at the same time, in a game where, you know, it doesn't matter which way you pull, right. you want to take advantage of, you know, whatever you can. So for me, yeah, it definitely, definitely decreases. Keep in mind what she also just said there, really uh, key component to the whole thing is, she said she goes wider, it's comfortable for her, it works yes. for her. If it's not comfortable, then don't do it. Exactly, exactly. And some people, um, they have like a bit of a hybrid yeah. You know, a little bit lower, but they still like to You got good have... enough mobility, you're able to handle it, so you go Exactly, wider. and mobility is a huge thing, too. I think the first time I started pulling sumo, uh, my hips were trashed for, <laughs> yeah. like, two weeks afterwards. I literally, right. like, could not feel my groin. So, um, yeah, it, it definitely helps to have that mobility, right. but it's very dependent on the individual. I like to use a mixed grip. I know for physique purposes, um, people say that, you know, you should be doing, like, double overhand and that is because um, I think some people are scared they're going to tear their bicep especially if you're a bodybuilder that's um, you know obviously bicep is a very very big proponent of um, a physique but at the right. same time mixed grip helps me um, be able to grip the bar and actually gotcha. hold it um, and obviously if I'm doing high rep stuff I'll just use straps gotcha. but um, yeah so for a sumo the biggest things that you want to be aware of is um, hip positioning and how, um, I guess, you're gonna be in a more upright position. So a good rule of thumb is having your scapula in line with the bar. I think that um, that's a lot of people. Scapula, where yeah. is that? Yeah, back here. There we go. Yeah, so your scapula. Um, Shoulders. Shoulder blades, yeah, in line with the bar. Um, a lot of mistakes that I see people do is, you know, either starting too far over the bar or too far behind the bar. And what that does, if you start too far behind the bar, it tends to, um, your hips tend to shoot up a little bit before, right. you know, the rest of your body and like with... It becomes a two-part lift. Exactly. It's kind of, you know, deadlift should be like a very, it should be a hinging movement. Everything should kind of flow and lift up at the same time. So, yeah. So, and then obviously if you're too far over the bar, which I think a lot of conventional pullers, that's kind of, right. you, conventionally you start and you're... You know, your chest is a little bit over the bar and that just... Might use more lower back. Though, exactly, yeah. exactly. So sumo has really, really engages your posterior chain. Um, so so use it, you know. Yeah, sumo you're trying to take advantage of being able to use your legs in a squatting type of motion and being able to utilize your lower back simultaneously. That's what gets to be tricky about it. Yes, yes. And then um, just another cue that I like to think about is you really want to have your lats engaged and packed as tight as possible and that'll decrease a lot of, you know, curving in your upper back, the, right. uh, the ugly and not very safe um, way to sumo. So you want Lats are right here? Yes. So you right want on the sides, right underneath your armpits? Yeah, so you just kind of want to keep the bar as close to you as possible. Um, that, that kind of, you know, it decreases range of motion and just, you know, makes it easier. And that's kind of what we want to... A little bit better posture, exactly. as she mentioned already yes. as well. Yes. So, yeah, I'll just, I guess, demonstrate. I'm sure most people watching know what a sumo is, but um, at the same time, it's, it's good to kind of think about different cues. And I think everyone has different cues. Uh, why are your hands out right now? Just um, balance? It's, it's a weird power lifter thing. That's yeah, kind of yeah, just how okay. I start. Uh, yeah, it's just, you know, what I do to help me get ready to um, deadlift. Yeah, I gotcha. think. Yeah, so you have your own power lifter. Everyone's weird got thing. weird yeah. things, yeah. So what I do with that, I just kind of focus on squeezing um, my armpit, protecting the pits. Chad Wesley Smith taught me that. <laughs> right. And that really um, just kind of helps um, me think about engaging my lats. So. There you go, good. I know you already talked about the lats, which uh, helps give you a little bit better posture, helps yes. pull your chest up. 
Uh, do you have any cues for people that have a hard time that, uh, keeping their back flat? Um, really, so if you do engage your lats and you keep the bar as close as possible, right. typically that will help with um, you know, keeping your back right. flat. Right, if the bar ends up out in front of you. you exactly, know, okay. exactly. And then just like I said, like the making sure that your hips don't shoot before the rest of the movement. So, right. um, you know, I think a lot of times when people, when people aren't wary of that, then, you know, obviously your hips will shoot and you're ready in like a terrible starting position, right. you know? So making sure that, um, you know, it's not a squat. You don't want to go all the way down to the ground and kind of start right here because that's not a very strong starting commonly, position. Yeah. And what that'll do if you're right here, it's not a good position to begin with. A lot of times people start pulling, their hips will go up and that kind of just makes your background yeah. already. Right. So. Yeah, so whenever you don't have tightness, a lot of times you're gonna end up rounded over. It's yes. basically what she's saying because if your hips are too high when you start, you're gonna end up rounded over. If your hips are too low, you're gonna end up rounded over. That makes a lot of sense. Yeah, so all about starting position, finding you know what works best with your leverages. Um, and yeah, practice. Lifting is a skill. The more you do it, the better you become at it. So Yeah, there you go. That makes there sense. There you go. Just like anything else in life. All right. Next week. Yeah. Thanks for watching the last video, guys. If you want more content, be sure to subscribe, like, share it. Leave your comments below on what you thought. If you want to see more content from the strongest gym in the West, be sure to click up here. And if you guys want the best gear in the powerlifting game, all the strength, sports, slingshot, right over here.